It's a nice tattoo, isn't it? That's my mate Louise. Um, she was a brilliant, talented, funny young woman who unfortunately I don't see anymore. In 2010, she decided to take a bit of ketamine with some of her mates. All the other people were much more regular users of ketamine, so while they all took the same amount, Louise's body wasn't used to it. So while everyone else went to bed and went to sleep, she couldn't get to sleep and decided to run a bath. And ketamine is actually an anaesthetic, so it knocked her out and she drowned. So what do we know about ketamine? It's a horse tranquilizer, right? Well, sort of. It's an anaesthetic, the kind of thing you might have before an operation. And yes, vets do use it a lot too. It's a white powder, it's very cheap, and it can be very addictive. And it also affects your memory. And just so you know, it's illegal. Medical studies have shown that ketamine can actually damage your bladder, sometimes irreversibly. So, some people might say that if a drug can make you pee blood, it's probably a good time to stop. This is Chris. He was a hardcore raver taking a whole cocktail of drugs. By the age of 16, he was taking so much ketamine, well, things started to go wrong. I was trying to go to the toilet, I couldn't, an immense amount of pain. But when I did manage to go, it was like a big lump of goo, blood, mess everywhere. It was horrible. By 17 years of age, Chris had to have his bladder removed. He's got a new bladder now, made from his own bowel. One of the other potential side effects of ketamine can be excruciating stomach cramps. The people who get these sometimes even take more K to kill that pain. It's just a vicious circle. But don't take my word for it, let's have a listen to what Olivia's got to say. K is a party drug, it's loads of fun. Um, you know, it's get up and go, get up and dance. The other end of the scale is you're in a bed, in a dark room, you can't eat, you can't drink because you're sick all the time, you're really thin. You just look disgusting and you're screaming in pain and the only thing will take it away is ketamine. It alters your perception so massively that you can put yourself in, in the, you know, the path of real, real danger and not have any idea what's going on. Ketamine hasn't been around as long as other drugs like coke and e, but now there are some proper studies on the effects it has on you. None of it good. What do you expect? Ketamine is an anaesthetic and Every patient who's presented to our clinic so far has come with urological symptoms, that's symptoms in their bladder. And either it makes them want to uh, go to the loo more often, or some people are actually coming in peeing blood. And that's due to the effect of ketamine on the, on the inside line, lining of the, of the bladder. And actually what it does, it corrodes and ulcerates that, that inside of the bladder. And that causes people sometimes enormous problems. If you'd like to learn more about ketamine, have a look at whynotfindout.org. It's an independent website with reliable information on all sorts of drugs, especially those legal highs. It's about staying safe, isn't it? So anyone doing these drugs should do the obvious, like low doses, not mixing with other drugs, especially alcohol, and ultimately just keeping an eye out for one another. Don't lose a good mate, like I did, all right?